Hey Seahawks and welcome back to Seahawks Central News. We've got an interesting show for you today with a profile on a UNCW student turned TikTok star and information as to why Subway has been shut down. We've also got all the details about the university's new plans for the timeline of spring semester, students' reactions to the plan, and the scoop on how UNCW's own dining halls are leading the city in green dining. I'm Isabella Pleasance. And I'm Abby Winstead. Sit down and stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. UNCW is home to a very talented and diverse group of people, but we want to spread light to some of those unique students here on campus. With close to 600,000 followers and 23.6 million likes on TikTok, I got to sit down with local influencer and UNCW student Johnny Morales to get the rundown on the social media and entertainment industry. He first rose to TikTok fame back last November, where he says that was the first time where one of his videos actually blew up. I had one video that just like, I think it got 7 million views um, when I posted it. And so it was a video with my mom and she was in, in, interacting with my girlfriend and she like said something goofy and people like thought it was super funny. Um, so like I noticed people liked that, those kind of videos and I wasn't necessarily wanting to make a specific a specific type of video so I just kind of went with what worked so um, after uploading that video I decided to post another video with my mom and that one also got like three million views so I think I found as, that week I started to find like videos that worked for me um, when it comes to you know actually getting engagement but also enjoying making those videos because that gave me an opportunity to spend more time with my mom or my girlfriend not only has Johnny excelled on his social media platforms, but he also has had the opportunity to serve as an extra for a few movies and TV shows. Some of those being the current Outer Banks Season 2 and the Scream Movie 5, which is being filmed downtown. I was able to actually watch the first movie I was in like a month ago because it finally came out in theaters. But I've still been able to just combine that like love for something even though i don't necessarily want to pursue acting long term unless something comes out of it from you know doing these little jobs but um so being able to pursue something that i think is fun and that i love is a great like hobby or pastime when asked about his future in the social media or entertainment industry johnny says that is all up to fate that at any point this could all go away so what i'm kind of doing is writing that riding that train and just gonna keep doing it until um, you know it stops I guess but yeah don't, right now I don't see it going away anytime soon but yeah I'm just gonna keep doing it until I can't. Johnny gave some advice for anyone who is interested in getting started in the entertainment or media industries. I think a good mix of both is fantastic just for for anyone who's in my position where they're like trying to explore social media or I guess acting I would say that just having a mix of both really opens up um, like your perspective and being able to see where you want to take it. To support a fellow Seahawk, you can follow Johnny on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Johnny Morales. While grabbing a bite to eat in Hawk's Nest this past week, you may have noticed that Subway has been recently closed. The simple sign up reading temporarily closed doesn't tell the full story though. UNCW Campus Dining took to Instagram to remind students of the restaurant's closer, and when a commenter asked why, they responded, this location is temporarily closed due to a COVID exposure. We apologize for the inconvenience as we clean and sanitize the facility. Campus Dining is yet to release any more information about what day this exposure could have occurred and if customers could have possibly Possibly been exposed as well. As of today, September 28th, the establishment is still temporarily closed. While Subway lovers may be disappointed by this news, don't worry because there's another place on campus that may be pioneering sustainable dining. Garrett Wishon is in studio today to tell us what makes Dub's Cafe so special. Garrett? Thanks, Isabella. Dub's Cafe, located on UNCW's campus, recently became the first three star certified green restaurant in Wilmington. The dining venue is another step in support of the college's dedication to sustainability. As a certified green restaurant, Dub's Cafe now preserves up to 92,725 kilowatts of electricity and 491,548 gallons of water and saving $8,887 a year and creating nearly an 80% reduction in waste through recycling and composting. UNCW staff collected data on many different steps to meet GRA certification standards. 
In total, 56 new environmental steps were put in, and some of these examples include biodegradable dish detergent and new faucet aerators. Dubs Cafe is the first restaurant in the city of Wilmington to receive a recognition of being a green restaurant. Isabella? On Friday, September 25th, students received an email from Chancellor Sartorelli in which it was announced that spring semester of this school year will not begin until January 20th in order to, quote, allow more time between winter break and the start of classes, end quote. The other big news, no spring break. Although classes will be canceled April 1st and 2nd for the holiday of Good Friday just before Easter. Reaction to this news was mixed to say the least. The Chancellor also went on to say that although it's difficult to predict what course this semester will take, the university is currently planning to offer fully online, hybrid, and some in-person classes just as they have done this semester. Well, that's it for us this week. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to UNCW Till TV on your favorite social media platform. For Seahawk Central News, I'm Abby Winstead. And I'm Isabella Pleasance. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.